So let's paint the picture. In this video, is Republican congressional candidate Jacob Kernow playing a video game? He is getting absolutely washed when he rage quits. Yeah, 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 all right, bro. On his stream, he gets up and leaves, returns, and says this. All right, we got my controller that works now. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, you little... You're a little... Literally actual terrorist FBI complaints complained against you. I don't care if you work for the FBI. Work for the FBI all day long. I don't give a the f*** you are. I'll f file FOIA requests against you. See if you work for the FBI. I don't give a you're a piece of shit, dude. Let's go, come on. Win a single game against me, you bum. He uses anti-gay slurs repeatedly, but it doesn't stop there. The continued complaining ensues with this Republican, and then he uses the R word. It's a significant achievement in his life. This guy belongs in a mental institution. I'll be contacting his state officials, by the way, and I will be contacting Governor Ron DeSantis over this loser. Kernow then threatens to contact state lawmakers to look into the player he just competed against, and no, this is not satire. Kernow, on stream, for all to see, then showed why he is completely unelectable. Hey. Why are you calling me and texting me on my phone? You he continues to use anti-gay slurs, repeatedly uses the R word, slams his fist down hard on what sounds like furniture, and then threatens to unalive somebody. And this is supposed to be a reasonable person? When ABC Action News asked him a little about himself and his political ambitions and his political beliefs, here is what he said, and uh, prepare yourself. Spectacular political instincts. I've spent thousands of hours over the past 10 plus years studying politics and associated material through a variety of sources spanning the entire political spectrum. I have knowledge of the international geopolitical landscape. I have lived in or in close proximity to District 13 for well over 30 years, and I am well acquainted with the political landscape and the diverse groups of people. I have a 500 plus book library, and I generally read about one book per week. I have a 4.0 GPA in college at St. Petersburg College at the time of this writing, multiple number one ranks in the world, and multiple world records for gaming. Worth pointing out is the fact that the Sons of Liberty actually preferred the average American citizen to control its own government, not a select group of elite career politicians. But perhaps Perhaps the best qualification that I possess is the fact that I have never been involved in the D.C. swamp in any way whatsoever. Okay. When the question of why should voters choose you as their candidate, here's what he said. Over the past 10 years, I have spent thousands of hours studying politics and associated material spanning the entire political spectrum. There's a lot of words in here, but few are worth reading. You may be asking, or you're not. <laughs> You don't have to ask this. What are some of his key positions? If he were to be a member of Congress and uh, probably what you predicted. Pro-Trump, well, that's a given. Pro-Second Amendment, giving life to the counter argument of maybe not everyone should own a gun. Pro-law enforcement until they probably protect the capital, of course. And then pro-United States Constitution. This dude is a winner. 